and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at another very interesting problem, move zeros. So um, in this uh, problem, uh, what we are trying to solve is basically we have uh, basically an, a, we have been given an array and uh, that array has mixed of um, mixed values. Basically, it has ones and in between, in between, it has zeros scattered through. What we need to do is uh, we need to move all the zeros towards the end of the array. So for example, if we have this array 0, 1, 0, 3, 12, in this case, what we need to do is we need to move 1, 3, and 12 towards the beginning of the array and move zeros at the end, okay? So we need to make sure that the order uh, that uh, we have been given for the uh, element stays same. Okay, and we need to do this in place. All right, and the other thing is we need to minimize number of operations uh, that can uh, basically take place. Now, um, if you think of it like you know, you can uh, very easily uh, sort of like you know sort this array and reverse it. But uh, sorting, uh, remember, uh, sorting uh, might not be an option uh, if uh, that comes to our mind because we need to keep the order. Uh, the rel relative order of the elements. So if, uh, and nowhere in the question, it says that uh, the uh, array is sorted. If array was sorted, zeros would, would not be uh, scattered all over the place. So that's not the option, okay? And uh, what we can do is uh, if you think of like previous questions, um, see if you can um, find some, um, uh, some inspiration from those examples, maybe keeping a pointer and uh, comparing some values, like you know, um, some values to zeros and stuff like that. Okay, just uh, just a hint. Um, this is like you know, a rather uh, interesting question. So I would actually uh, uh, like you know, encourage you to take a first stab at it, and uh, I'll. Uh, take a pause here. So uh, pause the video and try to come up with your own uh, algorithm before continue, uh, continue before continuing forward, basically. And then we're going to see what we came up with for the solution. Okay. Uh, one of the potential solutions, by the way. Um, so we're going to take a pause. So uh, let's pause the video here. All right, so hope that went well, and uh, we can see what we actually uh, developed as like, you know, as one of the potential solution, or we came up with potential solution of our own. Okay, so the main idea behind this is that once again, like, you know, going back to some of the questions that we solved, uh, keeping a pointer. And basically, we're going to keep a pointer, uh, create a pointer, and initialize that pointer with zero. And we're gonna loop over the array, okay? So if the current item uh, that we are iterating over is not equal to zero, okay? Then we're gonna move that item to the pointer, okay? So what's gonna happen, uh, both pointer and the iteration is gonna start at the zeroth index. But as soon as you find that first zero, the index, the pointer is going to stay, it's going to be left behind, okay? And that's when you have the opportunity where uh, you're going to start to fill those gaps of zeros with values uh, that are uh, currently being iterated over. And just like that, all the elements uh, that are zero will be replaced by something. Now, at the end, you're going to have repeated values because, like, you know, values have been copied over and stuff like that. So what we do is we use that index pointer that we are actually using to iterate over the remaining of the array and convert or basically replace everything with zero. That way, our um, loop only keeps the values that were there and remaining everything else becomes zero. Okay. So hope. That was easy enough. Let's take a look at the algorithm first. Um, so we have we get the we get the numbers array, and we create that uh, pointer index with zero, and we then loop over. We see like you know if the currently iterating currently uh, current number that we are iterating over is not equal to zero, then we uh, take that number 
uh, take that number array uh, for the index and replace it with the currently uh, uh, number that we are currently iterating over. Okay, then we increment uh, the index uh, by one. Okay, and we continue forward, uh, continue like this. Even we encounter uh, it as a zero, then we skip this step. So at that point, the index pointer is gonna be left behind and uh, it's not gonna update until you encounter next non-zero value. So that's when you actually start to see those uh, non-zero values being copied over on the top of uh, zero values, okay? So uh, you're gonna take a look at the example and it's gonna be more clear, but yeah, so you run to the end and then at the very end, you just iterate over uh, remaining of the array uh, and then starting from index uh, that you have updated until the end of the array and replace everything with zero. That actually gives you the answer. Okay, so let's take a look, look at the example. So you have zero, one, two, zero, three. As you can see, zero is scattered around. Now we're gonna say uh, index. We're gonna start with index at zero. We're gonna look, uh, go into the for loop. Uh, first time, the zero is equal to zero. That means the index is also index is zero and current item uh, is also zero. So we skip, okay? Index is now left behind because index is still zero. And the item that we are iterating over is one now. Now, one is not equal to zero in this case, okay? So when one is not equal to zero, what do we do? We actually take the array and replace its index, which is zero, with the value that is currently being iterated on. So one, so our uh, n, we increment the index to one. Um, basically increment the index by one, so making it the index value as one. So now your array looks like this. So it looks like one that we just copied over, another one from before, two from earlier, zero from earlier, three from earlier, okay? We have gone, not gone down that uh, that element, those elements yet. So index states, index now becomes one. Item becomes two. We are iterating over uh, two now. So, um, so two is not equal to zero again. So then number at index, which is one, becomes two and index incremented by one becomes two as well. So your new array looks like one, then you have two, that we have actually copied over, and then two from earlier, zero from earlier, and three from earlier, okay? So these three values have not been modified yet. Now, index becomes two, and your item is zero now. So next, I next element we encounter is uh, zero, okay? Zero is not equal to zero, so we skip. Uh, your array says one, two, two, zero, three. Okay, on this side, your index still two. Now your item, next item is three, okay? Three is not equal to zero. That means we need to go in uh, in the if condition and we say number at two, basically the index two uh, needs to be replaced by three. So if you look at zero, one, two, this needs to be replaced by this guy. If you notice, because we had two zeros, our pointer now left behind and it's two step behind than the current. And that's the technique that we were looking for. So basically three is replaced here. So we, so the array becomes three and the index is increased to three. Okay, so zero, one, two, three. Now we are pointing at this location. Now we don't have any more element because we reached the, at the end of the array. So we write another loop, not inside, but outside, okay? And um, I mean, you can write a loop or you can write a while. Um, and you say like, you know, index for index, uh, like, you know, up until less than uh, the array dot count, any element that you find between this turn it into zero. So your new array becomes one, two, three, zero, zero. And that's how you move your element, your zeros at the end, keeping the order intact, okay? Hope that uh, made, uh, like, you know, uh, hope that was clear with the example. Let's take a look at how we're gonna write this in a program. So we're gonna say func move zero. 
an expected array of integer. And we're gonna return an array of integer. Okay. Now, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, first we're gonna get create the Swift specific again, and uh, we're gonna create our index, and we're gonna say loop over item in array. Okay. And uh, we're gonna say if the item is not equal to zero, then we need to do some operations here. Okay, what operations we need to do is that we need to say array index, okay, is equal to the item. And uh, we also need to increment index by one, right? So this loop is gonna uh, run over and over. If it encounters zero, the index, the pointer is not gonna increase. That way we are gonna fill every single item with some value, some non-zero value. Now, next, we're gonna simply say for i in index to less than array.count, right? And we say array at i make it zero. And eventually return the array. Okay, so we're simply gonna uh, print and uh, move zero and give it an input zero one. Let's say zero two three zero four. Let's give it that. Okay, so uh, if we run this, what we should get is one, two, three, four towards the beginning and zeros at the end. There we go. So one, two, three, four, zero, zero, zero. Now, if you uh, if you print stuff, and I would actually uh, uh, first encourage you actually to uh, start like you know putting your print statements uh, when you're learning and when you wrote your algorithm. Um, at that time, like you know you're ready to write it in a compiler and execute it. So when you do that, I would actually recommend you like, you know, putting some print statements like we did in previous videos and see how your array is being changed. Okay, over time. Now, you can do that uh, right here, but I would say like, you know, that's the best way to see like, you know, at what step, what's being changed. So if you remember, if you notice this, we have one, one, zero. So basically uh, there uh, one, uh, zero was replaced by one and this is from before and this is from before and everything else is from before then we get to one two next one and uh, so because we are actually writing we are printing only the array only when uh, we are actually replacing item that's why you're seeing this now you're gonna see more so zero one 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 zero zero like so okay so use the um uh, power of print uh, in the output and uh, basically see how your array is being manipulated and what are the values uh, that are being carried forward in the index and incre increasing in the index and which item you're currently iterating over and stuff like that. You can either use print or you can do debug. Okay, now once again, this it only comes after you have uh, tried your algorithm uh, and written down your algorithm. After that, you should actually use the compiler. That's the best way to practice, okay? So um, once again, I would encourage you to uh, compute the time complexity uh, for this one. Uh, just to give you a hint, time complexity is going to be O of N. You have to come up with um, basically how it is O of N um, and uh, take a look at previous videos and see if you get any ideas, post question for the community if you don't. Um, but yeah, this is uh, move zero, and uh, this is how you move zeros uh, towards the end of the array. And uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.